the scope of the antibiotic resistance problem is huge. I, I think that most people are familiar with the fact that we have a crisis with uh, resistant organisms. They read about it, it's in the press. The real issue is that um, we are in a situation where our armamentarium, where the drugs that we really have to treat resistant infections have shrunk. What the general objectives of antibiotic stewardship programs are in general are to uh, promote best practices, to get the right drugs used for the syndromes that are being treated, um, to reduce overuse and misuse of antibiotics. And the, the mechanisms that are used to do that are kind of what the stewardship is. So that involves education of providers, and actually for our stewardship, education has been a, a major part of what has been done. Um, but it also involves restriction of antibiotics so that uh, providers are not able to use certain so-called drugs of last resort, for example, without getting them from the stewardship team. One of our great successes, in my mind, is that we've changed the culture. And we have gotten um, to a point with providers at all levels to where they feel that they want our help and they want our advice. And um, to me, that's our greatest victory. Our greatest victory is that our expertise has come back. Um, infectious disease expertise is enormously important, but it has been difficult to um, get people to, to seek it. And this has been a mechanism by which it has been sought.